And we are back at Aoros Computex 2019. Actually, we had to come here a second time because Aoros trolled us a little. We arrived here on Tuesday morning the first time, but Tuesday afternoon they presented the new Aoros CV27F uh, curve monitor and we didn't have the time back then to check it, obviously because it was introduced afterwards. So we came back just to check out this new curve monitor. As I said before, 27 inch curved and it's using 1500 RS curved ratio and therefore it's a little bit closer to the human eye which is 1000 R. Most of the curved monitors are using 1800 R. So this is a little bit different. It feels a little bit different especially when you're um, by playing games like this on a triple monitor setup and have it aligned like this and you're very close to what's going on. It feels a little bit yeah, more native, a little bit smoother uh, playing like this. Obviously triple monitor setup like this is not really that common but I think if you're looking into a triple monitor setup with curved monitor this is something you should definitely look into. Yeah, same driving skills as with my GTR. Now that we are back here at AORS, I was just taking another look around just to check if there is one more product that could maybe be interesting uh, besides the new Curve monitor. And then I spotted this. I actually spotted this already in the other booth where it was pinned to a white wall. But this is a little bit different because I already spotted some interesting details back then and I thought I might cover it. And when I looked again at this board, I saw that the top VRM shows X499 series, which is a chipset that is not released yet. The product name says X299G Desinaire 10G, so it's a refresh board apparently for X299, which didn't really make much sense. Why would you make a refresh board now for X299? CPUs have been out for a very long time. I think there's not much more going on in this market in this chipset or in this socket, so obviously it was kind of strange why they would present an X299 refresh board here. But then seeing X499, everything made sense. So it's for the X299 refresh CPUs, which should come out from what I've heard in November or December 2019. So we already know that the series will be called X499 and not X399, which was also kind of obvious because AMD was already using that for the Red River uh, socket. Taking a look at the board itself, we have a massive um, chipset heatsink design on the bottom. Obviously, we have all those cooling blocks for M.2 SSDs. We have a heatsink or a heat pipe that's going up to the top VRM block. It's split up, so a second heat pipe is continuing to the left VRM block. Obviously, cooling some parts. Actually, that's not the VRM block. It's not connected to the VRM. The VRM is only on the top. Here is just another finned heatsink block, but it's not cooling any components directly from what I can see. But then we have another heat pipe going down to the bottom and here's another metal block which I found really interesting and this metal block is directly connected to the PCB and I was really wondering why would they do that so it made kind of sense because this area is getting a little bit hotter because of the chipset we have some sources of heat here from VRM for the memory we have obviously the other VRM here we might have network chips here so all the other areas kind of have heat sources but in the area on the bottom left we don't really have that we only have the audio solution on there so Gigabyte is using this additional metal block just to spread um, heat across this area of the PCB to dissipate uh, dissipate more heat. That's a very interesting heat pipe cooling solution. So yeah, now we know that X499 is just around the corner. We already know the name of the upcoming chipset, which I think is interesting. Um, I think that was an accident, but funny to see. All right, that's it from Aros 2019 Computex. Thanks for uh, tuning in. See you next time. Bye.